Hello, and welcome to December. My name is Teresa Moxley of Larkin Design, and today I wanted to talk about my December album, and I wanted to show you a little of what I did with my cover. Um, I'm working with Claudine Halmuth's Sticky Back Canvas to make a um, cover with the spray mist and a stencil as a background. And so I'm getting everything together. I'm going to use Heidi Swap's spray mist in navy, teal, and gold. And so I'm just clearing my worktop here. I have a chevron paper stencil by American Crafts. And first I thought I was going to use the gold, um, and I wanted to do like an ombre effect. And then I decided that the gold probably wouldn't show up very well on the sticky bag. So I'm just getting something to lay underneath it to protect the work surface. And this is to block off the area. So I'm going to start with one color and that's where I decide to use the mint instead of the gold. Um, so I'm going to just get that bottle ready, shake it up good, and bring that down so you can see a little bit and spray that on. And this is the mint color, and this one is a little bit splotchy, um, but it goes on, and so I just kind of blot it up a little bit, and then slide the cardboard down, and block off the area for the next color, which is the teal. Um, forgive my big head there. So I'm going to lay that down, and cover up what I've already sprayed and shake up the teal and here it goes. I'll bring that down a little bit for you to see and so I'm going to spray it on. This one isn't so splotchy so it goes on really nicely and I get that on there and I blot it a little bit again just to make sure this it's not wet for moving around and the reverse image always looks great. Donna Downey is great for keeping white cardstock around to do her blotting on and I'm not that organized. Um, so here I'm just getting ready for the next layer which is the navy and it's the last one and so I'm going to shake that up and this one goes on really dark and if I had known that that one was going to go on that dark I would have made the others a little bit darker but I put down the paper towel and it sort of tones that down and then it looks really good. Of course now I'm covered in navy paint. Um, so I blot some more because it just looks really wet. That navy went on really dark. And I just want to make sure that I'm not covering everything with paint before I get a chance to heat set it. So I am going to take off all the layers. And there it is. Ta-da. And I'm going to take this over and heat set it and clean off the worktop. And I'll be back. So there it is. I'm going to go get my album. The album that I'm working with is Basic Gray. It's a capture album, and this is my second year using this album for December, and it really works out well. Last year, I just loved it, and it turned out so well. So this year, I'm just using the plain one and then making my own cover. And so I'm lining everything up. I'm going to get my pencil here and make the line for cutting it. And this, this sticky back canvas is really easy to work with. It's just going to go through the trimmer to get trimmed. And then I can, uh, there it is, trimmed. So you just remove the sticky back and lay it down where you need it. Um, it's pretty forgiving for just a split second. I laid it down and, and lined it up with the edge. And you can see that it kind of made a bubble. So I pulled it up a little bit and then smoothed it out. And I really wasn't worried too much about whether it was perfect or not. Um, having the edges sprayed kind of conceals any imperfections between the edge and the album. Um, but I go and get my cutting mat and my X-Acto knife because one of the edges was hanging over a little bit. So I made sure that that was trimmed off and um, the 
canvas respond it responds really well um, to the cutting and that's that so and you can see where it's kind of um, perforated there I take the scissors so that I can trim around that corner that rounded corner and the edge that I trimmed with the exacto knife just came right off so that's the trimming of that it's pretty easy around the other corner and make sure everything's kind of smooth no rough edges hanging off and that's pretty much that pretty simple working with this um, canvas so I clean that up a little bit and then I'm gonna start working on the embellishments and so I pretty much had in mind what I wanted I knew I wanted that postcard and the 25 and the slide frame and these are all from jelly bean soup um, but I decided once I laid it down that it needed some contrast between the postcard and the canvas so I chose that bingo card and again that's um, jelly bean soup all that those ephemera packs I bought like three of them um, and so that bingo card laid down well with the red and that provided a nice contrast but then I'm looking at this red slide and it's too much red next to the red bingo card so I'm trying to figure out what to do and I think I have it I decide I'm going to use the green slide frame there it is the green slide frame and that red ornament instead and that provides a nice contrast and sort of a break between the red bingo card and the red ornament so I lay the 25 back down and the little star and these little wooden um, chipboard letters they keep sliding around so I'm just sort of lining them up to figure out what what else this cover needs it's not really done yet um, so I'm just kind of looking to figure out what what else does it need and yeah that corner is a bit empty right there um, so it needs something to pop I'm trying a doily no that's not it I have these little um, canvas tags from Recollections and they're just simple canvas layering tags um, and so that's cool I decide that that needs to go underneath underneath that button I trim it a little so that it's not so bulky and I go and get some twine to tie around the eyelet that's just little green and white twine who knows who it came from I have so much of it um, so I'm just tying that trimming the ends again and putting that through the eyelet and so I'm thinking about what I'm gonna do with this little tag and I want to layer something on top of it I really like that Mary um, the wood grain sort of repeats the wood grain from the letters and um, so I'm gonna try working with that and Jelly Bean had these word strips in the little ephemera pack um, so I'm sort of playing with those there were a couple of them and I'm not really sure what I want to do it just doesn't look right I try that believe and when I lay it down it's just too much it competes with the green slide so I toss that out um, and I'm back to the Mary again I really like that Mary and I want to use it but I'm not sure it's just not getting together yet um, so I grab the bowl and I'm just going through there and seeing what else is in there and there's that Mary and Bright and I really like that one I think that's probably what's gonna end up working out so I'm just going through 
you know, just to be sure. Okay, well, let's try with that. So I move the tag up. Yeah. Do I still want that Mary there? No. That, it's almost there. Here we go. Move the tag down. And then put the Mary and Bright on top. Underneath the button. To tie it in and that's it. Or is it? Yeah, it's still not really it. It still needs something between the postcard and the bingo. So I try that believe again. That's just not going to work out. And there's the Mary. And that's it. Um, it still needs something to bring the Mary into, to bring your eye from Mary to 25 days. And so I'm trying wood veneer pieces. Um, these are Ellie's studio. And that's not really it either. So I decide on a little star paper clip. It's just a little one from last year from Two Peas in a Bucket. May they rest in peace. And um, that's it. That brings your eye from the bingo to the Mary to the 25 days and around that little cluster of embellishments. And so that's pretty much it. That's my cover um, for December for this year. And it's just going to play a little bit more. I bring over my adhesive and take everything down to, to glue it all down. Um, and that's pretty much my process. Just a few little notes about how I chose my colors this year. I just wanted to do navy and gold. And, of course, there's not much navy and gold purely for Christmas, so I brought in all the other colors as well. So it's pretty um, colorful, but the majority of it is navy and gold. And so I'm just really happy with how this turned out. I'm really excited to get going on December. I'm ready for December 1st to start. And I'm excited about sharing this with you um, through videos and through my blog, which is Larkin Design. And so I hope that you'll join me, and I hope that you'll come back. And I will have the foundation pages up in just a few days. Thank you again for watching. This is Teresa Moxley.